Oi pessoal, eu sou Bats, e hoje vamos ver a take look at Mapa Sabo. It is a 1 to 19 scale standalone map that requires all six map DLCs. And it includes parts of Paraguay, Chile, Uruguay and Argentina. Now, the map might sound like a very, very big map from that perspective. And sure, it is a fairly big map, but it's not larger than, say, around 4,000 kilometers of roads you can actually haul on. When you've done that, the map still claims that there are about 50% of the map to discover, but that is all roads that are not really completed yet. They are not visible on the map, not like they are uh, secret roads in any way. It's, it's just parts of the map that has been completed and connected to the rest of the map. So don't expect to, to cover uh, all of it and all the uh, then around 8,000 kilometers of roads that presumably are available here. Although the map includes parts of four different countries, it's not uh, like it covers all of Paraguay, Chile, Uruguay and Argentina, uh, but it touches all these four countries. Uh, and from the looks of it, it might look like the map is containing a, a few more or less straight roads. And I can assure you that although these roads uh, goes in perhaps only three or four different directions, they are not at all straight. And before I get into too many details about the map, I'm gonna show you some flyover and then we're gonna go through how you set this map up because it is a standalone map, so it requires its own profile. I'm gonna show you how you do that. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this map, what sets it apart from all the other 500 different South American map mods that are out there. So uh, stay tuned for that. Now let's do some flyovers. As I said earlier, this is a standalone map, so we need to create a new profile. You need a name, and before you then move on, you go to the mod manager. And here you add the four or five different Mapa Sable files. I say five because one of them is optional, and that is, of course, the passenger mod there that goes to the top. So it's file number four, three, two, one, and then passengers. Then click confirm changes and choose a picture, preferred truck design, a company logo and a company name and I'm obviously going with Vombatians United which is, which is my VTC. Join us. Then you need to change the playing module um, to mapasable.mbd and this is very important. Without doing that the game won't really load. And it's optional to use a Steam Cloud profile. I prefer not to. In any case you click create. And then you skip the wizard, let the game load for a bit, and then you can choose which city you want to use as your headquarter. Uh, I'm just going to go with the default here, but as you can see, there are several to choose from. In any case, click confirm selection, skip the tutorial, and you're off to do your first haul. There's a ton of South American maps out there. Uh, 
Mapa Bahia, Mapa Brazil, Mapa Rodovia, Sudeste Total, Expesada, uh, Venezuela, El Dorado, John Death, uh, Minas Gerais, MTS North of Brazil, Peru, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Rotas Brazil. I could go on and on and on. There's a ton of them. And I was just now mentioning about 15 standalone maps for ETS2 that covers parts of South America. There are a lot of them. And when you have that many map mods out there, it's difficult to say what sets one map apart from everything else. But it is a free mod. Uh, that is good, of course. It includes a passenger mod. That is good, of course, if you're, especially if you're a bus driver. And another thing for those of you who likes to drive a bus. Uh, this map includes quite a lot of terminals that are made specifically for this map. Yes, this map mod includes a lot of assets and terminals. There's a lot of them here for you, the bus drivers, to enjoy when you pick up passengers. There are way larger map mods than this one available for South America, but there is also a lot of map mods for South America that is much smaller than this one is. And this one, considering the size it has now, around 4,000 kilometers, and the additional 4,000 kilometers of roads that aren't connected to the map yet, that are already here, uh, says something about the potential for this map to grow. There is also one city already visible on this map that aren't connected to the rest of the road network and I expect that city to be part of the uh, next update of this map. So it's going to be among the rather larger perhaps map mod, not the largest ones obviously EAA is going to outdo any other map mod ever created from that perspective but on the larger sites in general rather than on the smaller sides uh, it is in the middle around the, with its around 4000 kilometers already uh, but it's going to outgrow quite a few other maps uh, sooner rather than later uh, if development continues like it has so far. Hauling here is quite enjoyable for me. Uh, there are no bonkers AI behavior, uh, which is good. Uh, there are no huge highways, which is good. I, I'm really not a fan of highways. I prefer roads like this instead. Unfortunately though, there aren't any gravel roads here yet. And that is the one thing I'm missing on this map. There are no gravel roads and I do enjoy my gravel roads on South American map mods. I do however like the tarmac on this map because it's not smooth as butter all over the place. There are quite a lot of places where the tarmac is in bad shape. Not like stupid potholes that are totally out of this world, uh, but it's crackled and you can feel that it isn't a hundred percent flat the surface and I like that a lot. It doesn't weigh up for the missing gravel roads though, I still want them, uh, but it is for now a, a good substitute I guess. So do I recommend this map? Yes I do. It is free of charge if you have all six map DLCs. All you have to invest is a little bit of your time and a profile on ETS2 and you're off to do some hauling on this rather exciting map that is hopefully going to grow a lot over the coming months. So with that said, thank you very much for watching and I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. And as always, links to the map and the truck I'm using right now found in the video description, of course. Check them out. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye bye. And if you enjoyed this video, why not to check out some of my other map reviews of South American maps or perhaps the entire catalogue of map mods that I have made map reviews of over the years. I think there's something for everyone in there, so hopefully you'll find something you like as well.